you guys understand that we could use the sum and difference formulas, right? Yeah. And obviously, based on your, um, based on, based on the directions of what we're looking for, you could use the sum and difference formulas to figure this one out, right? Um, I also, we might also ask you to use the half angle formulas um, or doubling formulas. And basically, the half angle formula, you can see this is obviously sine, right? Um, so the sine is going to be plus or minus. So the formula is sine of u over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine. I didn't write that. It should have been cosine of u. Sorry about that. I didn't write those. <laughs> I'm sorry. I messed up. That's not u. It's 2. Sorry. I was wondering, I was like, that doesn't really make sense. All right, so we have this as the cosine of u equals to 2. Now, basically what we need to do in this example, ladies and gentlemen, is um, you guys can see we have plus or minus. The plus or minus is basically going to be determining it with sine or cosine. So you guys can see for sine and cosine, we have plus or minus. Um, tangent, we do not have. Uh, the plus or minus, because we're not going to be dealing with the radicals in this case, or the square root in, this, in those two examples I gave you. Basically, what we want to do is identify, is sine going to be positive or negative for our original angle? All right? And if you guys look at this, for our, our half angle, sine of 15 degrees, sine that 15 degrees is going to be in which quadrant? First, First quadrant. And is that going to be positive? Is that going to be in the positive, right? OK. And even when you double that, that's going to be, um, so that's going to be positive. So we don't need to worry about the negative. Now, in the next thing, pi over halves is equal to, so we could say pi over 2 is equal to 15 degrees. Would everybody agree with me? See how these are like, we don't need to use this. Do you guys agree with me? Pi halves is equal to 15 degrees. Yeah. Yes? Because, well, in Ashley, what they're asking for this problem is they use u. So we want to make sure we solve for u. So if we have u over 2 equals 15 degrees, then u has to equal? u equals 30 degrees. So now we simply just plug 30 degrees into this formula. <laughs> so the cosine of 30 degrees, if you guys remember, you look at the unit circle, cosine of 30 degrees, uh, that's going to be square root of 3 over 2. Right? Now, again, we've got to get rid of the radical, on the, or we've got to get rid of the 2. So just like we did in the last example for you guys, we've got to get rid of the 2, so I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. When I do that, make sure you apply distributive property in the numerator. You obtain the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 over 4. Then, if you apply the rules of radicals, which we're teaching right now in my Algebra 2 class, you know that you can break this up into the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. And then can I take this? Can I, you can't break apart the square root across addition or subtraction, but you can take the square root of 4, right? So your final answer is the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 all over 2. And that's it. That is the exact answer. OK?